Hurricane Adalia is a strong reminder to all of us how hard it is now becoming for homeowners to afford and even keep their property insurance. Washington investigative reporter Greg Fox shows us where it stands right now, what your premiums could look like in the future, and why some say the state just isn't working hard enough to fix this problem. As Hurricane Idalia leaves a path of Florida destruction behind, damaged homes and businesses will generate insurance claims and generate new concerns by policyholders that companies will increase rates or drop customers. It's a cycle that currently has 14 insurance companies in liquidation, and state-run citizens, the insurance of last resort, now has 1.3 million policyholders who will likely see an average 12% increase in premiums beginning November 1st. Which makes you wonder if lawmakers are doing enough to stabilize the insurance market where the average annual cost is nearly $2,500. I think the, the legislature got an F all the way up to uh, to the last special session. Unfortunately, they waited until 2023 to act. Former state Senator Jeff Brandis is a Republican who's been fighting his own party leadership for years to try and lower rates. He thinks lawmakers got it right in the December special session and in the spring passing bills that he believes will reduce claim disputes following storms, albeit with likely lower payouts to policyholders. And homeowners now face separate roof replacement deductibles and can no longer hire contractors to settle roofing claims. But Brandis predicts the result will be fewer private insurance premium hikes next year and premium cuts after that. I think you're going to see a much more competitive marketplace in 2025 than you see today. We're gonna to have more storms. Democrat Alex Sink is a former chief financial officer. She says Hurricane Idalia should be a wake-up call to Republican leaders to lure more private companies to create competition to lower premiums. Florida is very is already for many people an unaffordable state to live in. And I don't want to live in that kind of state. So let's let's get to work and find the solutions, but we need leadership and we're not seeing any leadership whatsoever uh, come out of Tallahassee. Idalia spared major population centers. The next hurricane may not. Greg Fox, Washington News.